Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Um Gone Mild. In the last two episodes, we boosted our um, development from 41 to 57, and uh, I'm thinking this has the potential to be our final episode of this series, because I wanted to get 60 development. I wanted to keep this as a short series. I think people have understandably been losing interest. There's only so much you can do as a one province minor. We had some good times, though. I mean, when um, Austria gave us Ansbach and almost ruined our free city status. That was my heart attack of the uh, of the series. <laughs> I mean, the, the solution was obvious to release Unsbach as a vassal, but I still utterly panicked for a second there. All right, here it is. Actually, gain one base tax in Ulm is also very good. That's actually worth a lot more. Yeah, no, let's... Uh, and just to be clear, this does... Yeah, it does count as a point of development, so it's worth a hell of a lot more than a boost of stability. Okay, so actually, for sure, we're going to achieve our objective of getting the, uh, whatever it's called, City of Wonders, or whatever the achievement is for getting 60 development, unless it bugs out. Always possible. <clears throat> Always possible with the EU4. Um, we don't want to lose the Republican tradition, so sure, let's lose the inflation. We have an idea somewhere that reduces our inflation, so that'll go away by itself. No problem. That is such a, a healthy profit right there. Income of 8.28, expenses of 5.15. Ooh, plus 15 prestige. That's so nice. And then we're going to get another 5 when we recover our stability, which is uh, coming up really soon. Just another couple of years. In the meantime, uh, we're going to get us get ourselves up to 59 here. Whoa, I don't know why our camera just jumped. Yeah, we're going to hold off on this. Actually, it's really good to see that we have neighbor bonuses on everything now. Because it's going <clears> to... <throat> unless we were to wait until we have administrative efficiency, which we're not going to do, um, it's going to take the same to develop this no matter when we do it. But the longer we hold off on technology, the cheaper that's going to be. So in the end, it is um, more forgiving on the Monarch points. All right, as soon as we hit 100 Republican tradition, we're going to recover our negative stability. We're going to buy it up by four points. Bohemia. So this is an offensive war against Würzburg, Bavaria. Oh, boy. So a bunch of our neighbors actually are involved in this. Well, I'm going to cheese. No, I don't need to cheese this at all. No, let's just say accept because it's already the 30th of March. Oh, God, wait, you're marching into Ansbach right now. Oh boy, this is actually not great. We'll vastly outnumber you if I march in here. But, okay, you have no leader. Um, ooh, this, such a good general. Such a, such an amazing general. Um, I assume you are at full maintenance. So actually, if they take the front row, yeah, we might be fine. The problem would be if Würzburg joins in, that'd probably make us lose. But let's just do our best, you know? Let's... Oh, and there's a massive army right there. All right, we probably have nothing to worry about. <clears throat> oh, yeah, they're going to take off um, Würzburg. Yeah, we're going to win this battle for sure. Nothing to worry about at all. So we have massive flank on them. Um, we're not even really attacking with most of our troops, I guess. But our cannons are doing a little bit of work here. There we go. Um, 20th. Oh. Well, you better be coming to help us. 
They do have a river crossing, um, two maneuver general versus... Ansbach has a two maneuver. Okay, so they should take the river crossing. So we probably lost a tiny bit of morale um, just due to sitting in that battle. I mean, we didn't take a single casualty. Um, one thing I could do is switch our religion focus thing to the morale. I don't know that that is actually going to make a difference right now, but every little bit will probably help. Actually, I didn't pay attention to what I last... No, I think it was 1.42 before as well. Okay. Well, we just have to take the attack. So, uh, we won the first roll. And actually, they have a very spread out army, which is good for us, because we can deal more damage to them. We do have the flanks on them. Equal cannons. So we won the first roll. Uh, we technically won the second roll. There we go. There's our ally. Uh, did not win the third roll, but we're still dealing more casualties. Ah, we are saved. Probably. Maybe. That's still a little ways off, actually, the 3rd of May. And these guys aren't marching in. I think we can make it to the 3rd of May. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit of a nail-biter. So I have attached to this unit turned on. So who exactly are we fighting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, these guys have no hope. <clears throat> Actually, we can go... <clears throat> wow, excuse me, I'm having to clear my throat so much today. Uh, go, go sit on them again. These guys might be trying to go sit on Ulm. Uh, oh no, they're actually attacking into us. That doesn't make any sense. We're gonna slaughter them. Or we should. Let's uh, shift-click consolidate, just so we are putting up the strongest front that we can. Yeah, so we have more morale. Uh, that should have been a stack wipe, right? Yes, it was a stack wipe. Very nice. I don't understand why they attacked into us. That doesn't make any sense. Well, we're getting lots of money for looting. It's actually quite a lot of loot for one little province. How much loot does our province have? <laughs> 59, so it's, I guess, one for every development, huh? I'm just going to let that sit because, honestly, yeah. Yeah, our allies took care of that. We're going to try to vassalize Memingen if we can. Bavaria accepted peace with Bohemia. So that was fast. So this war's gonna be over really soon. Um, your war goal is to take Würzburg. And they do have two provinces. Good, 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 good. I'm so happy about that. That means you're probably going to want to carpet them before you peace out. So that should give me plenty of time. Uh, do you... Oh, we can probably take that garrison on. We only have one breach, but let's just do it. We have tons of manpower. There we go. Oh, we can't, because we're junior... Yeah, that's right, that's right. How did I forget that rule? Well, we've still done our duty. Um, ah, I'm just trying to see the supply limit here. Uh, 43, that's very decent. Um... Doesn't really matter. Let's just go for the siege ability. Well, this war is going to be over just about as fast as it started. All right, Memigen has accepted peace. I wonder why. Oh no, yeah, no, that was the. Whoa, hold the phone. 
Yep. That worked. No, it didn't. We can't release. That means we have to peace out. <clears throat> My rule was no peacing out, but staying a free Imperial city. So th the problem, obviously, is they give us Memingen, which means at the tick of the month, we would no longer be a free city, because free cities are only allowed to have one province, and we can't release them, because that was a separate piece. So we're still in the war. So we have to get out of the war, and now we can create Memingen. There we go. So, uh, I am sorry about that, Bohemia. I know that you're not very happy, but, uh... You know, Bohemia, if you fix up the game Take on Mars, then maybe we'll talk. Because, uh, still has lots of bugs. Too few rivals. Oh, so they were a rival of ours. Oh, got a little bit of power projection there. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, let's take Würzburg, because they are probably about to no longer be a valid rival, so we would get the points for eclipsing them. At least I assume that that's how that's going to work. Uh, I guess we should improve relations. So how are our relations with our vassals? That's fine. A little bit of liberty desire. But, you know, we're improving our relations with them, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, how about Ansbach? Yeah, I'm not improving relations with you. Back up to... <clears throat> back up to top speed here. Good. Eclipse Würzburg, we did get a little bit of power projection. Not a huge amount. Um, Lorraine is probably quite small. Yeah, they have three provinces... Mainz. What are you, Mainz? Oh, right here. Uh, you don't quite border us. Bavaria. There are actually only three provinces now. They used to be quite strong. We're not going to do Austria, obviously. Um, what religion is everyone? You are reformed... You are reformed, and you are Protestant. Wait, wait a minute. What? Austria is Protestant now. All right, so I'm going to pick somebody who's reformed, just for role-playing purposes. Let's just say Bavaria. It does not really matter. Um, <clears throat> so we've eclipsed two people now. Hot chocolate, very nice. Um, so then, sorry, Mainz was reformed, right? Yes. Costly trade embargo, um, I need to pull back, I'll just pull back all my diplomats, because I have a fair bit that I need to do. Economy action, revoke the embargo on you. Then I need to start an embargo on Mainz. And on Bavaria. Oh, I can't because we have a truce. Yes, obviously. Continue to improve relations with you. Continue with you. And with you. Alright, we just have to get through two more years in this episode. Uh, yeah, let's maintain the diplomat. Units have suffered casualties. Still? I mean, I know we did assault a fortress. Oh, okay, so that's going to be done in another two months. You know, I think at this point, um, if that ticks up on... I, I'm not sure if it ticks up in January or not. I know it's a, an annual tick. I'm just not quite sure if it lines up with the new year. Um, we're going to see if it ticks up in January. If it does, then I'm just going to buy my stability then, I think. Or maybe not. I, you know, no. 
just get down. Well, there it is. Achievement unlocked. City of Cities. That's one little benefit of... Um, well, you should have seen that, I think. The uh, Achievement Unlocked thing. A lot of recording software won't show that. But I have NVIDIA Shadowplay set up to sort of record everything on the screen, not just from the active application. So if I Alt-Tab out, you do see that, for example. Um, yeah, we're at 99 here. We're just going to stick to what we've been doing. I think we are probably going to call this a campaign uh, as soon as I buy back up that stability. Which will just be in a couple months. So this is now costing 276. Oh boy. Well, Memmingen really likes us. Over 100 opinion. Yeah, it is amazing, um, especially if someone is your same religion, how much they will suddenly like you once you have them vassalized. Because all the things like, you know, rival or whatever, all that just goes away immediately. You just keep the, uh, the was at war and you keep aggressive expansion modifiers, typically. Oh, I should have taken the... Um, Prestige, probably. I didn't notice that at first. We've been at minus three stability forever, but here we go. One, two, three, four. Plus one stability. Ah, oh, it's hard to click on um right now. And I think there we have it. 61 development. 24... Um, base tax, 24 base production, tw or sorry, 13 base production, 24 base manpower, 284 marginal cost. That will go down later game. I think at this point, if we had continued, we probably would have stopped developing for a good long while until we started getting administrative efficiency, because uh, once you get up here, that's just a massive waste of uh, monarch points for what you get out of it. Uh, here's our final uh, diplomat view. Austria stayed allied to us, even though they don't particularly like us that much anymore. The new emperor is not super duper impressed with us. Oh yeah, we separate peace, and that was a massive blow. Otherwise, they would be much happier with us. Oh, they're still kingdom ranked, despite being the emperor. That's interesting. I, for some reason, thought that being the Holy Roman Emperor gave you empire-level governments, but I guess not. Uh, what else can I show? I guess... Um... 17, 16, 17 for our techs. Economic espionage, which I uh, didn't use as much as I should have. That was one of the goals, to sort of do roleplay e stuff, and not a whole lot came of that. Quantity and offensive. This was mostly for, what, getting discipline and the siege ability, I think, were the big things there. All right, well, you know, this was a little different campaign from most, designed to be pretty short. If anything, I think it went a little longer than I thought it would, just because uh, the game speed was a bit slow. Ooh, poor Korea. They're all split up, and... Hmm. Ming is holding on. They're starting to fragment. We have a bunch of ti 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 here. Jin jin. Yue yue. But they're holding on. La Xiang. Uh, I've noticed this a lot in recent patches that Langshang tends to do very well. Um, it used to be the Ayutthaya who would dominate everything, but Langshang is, is now able to hold their own. Bakhmani is doing well there. Um, a weird Afghanistan. Weird Afghanistan. No Timurids or Mughals, just Persia there. Pretty healthy Ottomans. I mean, they've eaten up a um, good chunk of the Mamluks. And they're making their way up into Europe. They have some claims. They probably continue doing well. New World. Um, kind of fragmented, actually. French Columbia. All this belonged to France. Um, very solid British Central America and West Indies. 
They must be making a killing off of all that trade. Got a Florida there. Well, that's as much as we can see. I can't um, turn off the Terra Incognita because this is Iron Man mode. Uh, nice, robust Scandinavia. Russia proved not to actually be that powerful, but uh, at least they look pretty powerful. They just have very few ports. That's one of their issues here. Pretty much have, you know, Kola, a couple of these other uh, Arctic provinces. And then, um, what, Mitau, Riga, Narva, Ingermanland, Neva. Pretty strong Portuguese, Morocco. Portugal got the Cape. Actually, there's not much France at all, um, other than the Columbia area. They're not up in Canada anywhere. Um, we do have Brittany here on Labrador. Or no, I'm sorry. No, Labrador is the mainland one. Uh, Newfoundland. All right, well, thanks for joining me for this campaign. Um, I'm going to be thinking of ideas, but if there's anything you want to pitch to me, uh, absolutely feel free to do that in the comments. So good night, sleep tight, and never let the grace can bite. Bye-bye.